I'm in Cambridge, UK, uh, in the AGFA, uh, our research and development and production plant, uh, formerly known as uh, Inca Digital Printing. I'm with uh, Rita Torps. Hi, Rita. Hi, Lorenzo. Hi. Nice to meet you. Yeah. Finally, you. in yeah. front of the uh, speed set, yeah. which is your uh, new uh, new baby. Correct. Uh, yeah. So, uh, what is speed set? Speed set is our newest printer, a newest press, addressing the folding carton market packaging uh, already, and uh, it's with water-based inkjet inks. It's uh, completed by the by, by the cooperation between Aqua Motto, where we develop the inks, and Aqua Cambridge, where the the mechanics and the total setup is uh, is just generated. Okay, and what does Spitze stand for? Spitze 1060. It's a B1 machine, and it's a for high quality, high quality and high productivity uh, work. So for for addressing folding carbon, that is actually the main target for our for materials. Okay, productivity, productivity. speed. Yeah. And uh, so, what is the existing uh, speed? What is the existing productivity? At the moment, we can run the machine, the printer, up to eleven thousand V1 sheets per hour. So that's an amazing speed. That's up to one hundred fifty meters per minute. So productivity is a key word here and that makes it the fastest digital press for packaging currently. Is, is that a target speed or is that the real speed? The That's the real speed. speed. The machine can run today at 150 meters per minute. It is amazing productivity of 11,000 sheets. It's real. And how have you been able to achieve such a uh, impressive uh, yeah. speed? It's actually a combination of fluids working together with the mechanics, due to also due to the vacuum system, which is a very strong and it's a patented technology that we have here. So making all these things work together, also having robust print head, then we each can work at, at a high, at high frequency with a high speed. Everything has to work together, and that's the combination of all these components together that makes it uh, this high productivity. Okay, Rita, let's uh, focus on the uh, chemistry, on the ink. Uh, everything is water-based, as you uh, mentioned, and everything is developed at uh, uh, Agfa. Can you give me more details about this, this uh, combination of uh, uh, ink and uh, whatever primer? Yeah, so we have a fully digital uh, fluid system. So that means that the primer, the inks, and the varnish are digital. So in one run, in one single pass, you complete the, com you, you complete the, the, the printing process only in one pass and you make it uh, a whole package uh, printed on the, on, the, on the material. So chemistry-wise, why do we have, why do we need, require the primer? Why do we require a varnish? Um, we opted actually for, uh, for being fully digital and also to so only print where you need it, so primer and varnish included. To make it to make it the highest personalization and customization for the for each sheet, sheet which is um, which is possible. So um, the the reason why we need the primer is because we work with fiber-based materials. There, the penetration of the ink will be too high, and that's the reason why we have a primer, and that will enhance the quality, the image quality, but also uh, reduces your ink consumption and and also exceeds your, uh, the color gamut. And is, is that necessary? Is, is that recommended on all substrates, on some substrates? Yeah, at the moment the machine is targeting folding carton and that's mainly coated material. So at the moment, the, uh, currently the, the, the coated materials require a specific primer. It has a specific functionality to work on the coated materials. Uncoated materials at the moment we do not. But mo mainly the folding carton has uh, mostly the coated material. We will in the future bring also a primer for, uh, for, un for uncoated or uncoated materials, but today we only have uh, the, 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 coated, uh, the primer for the coated materials. Okay, you, you, have a, you have a paper transport system which is very uh, unique and uh, different than uh, others used in, a, in a 
in other uh, uh, single pass uh, digital presses, uh, which is patented, right? Yeah, that's correct. Okay. It's actually, How does it work? It's actually a, a very strong vacuum. It is consisting of different patterns. Uh, that, 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 that are combined together and that have uh, all these small, very small holes which have a, a unique technology behind it to make it very strong vacuum and to, and, and to be able to handle and transport all these different materials. Because we were handling paper based, vaper materials but also the folding cotton and also the microfluid. And the microfluid, these are already thicker materials up to 2 millimeters and it should be also able to do microfoot is also an uneven substrate on both sides so you need to make it work and to, to make it as, flat, as smooth as possible as flat as possible in this system to make the transportation as, as smooth as possible what are the main uh, application areas application markets that you see for a speed set for speed set yeah mainly folding cotton industry so packaging folding cotton we targeting um, for the for the for different application the food and beverage beverage uh, markets but also pharmaceutical and, and cosmetic um, and healthcare uh, applications this can all be uh, be addressed not not all the applications will require the same quality but the machine is able to run at different quality modes Okay, the maximum quality is comparable to offset, it's fully comparable. Yeah, to so we are able, not at the 11,000 sheets per minute, because that's lower quality, eh? um, but we have also uh, lower productivity at five, at five, six thousand sheets per minute, but then we can run the, the press at 1200 dpi. That is nearby offset quality, I would, I would say. Okay, means that uh, being able to print both like a luxury box for cosmetics and a pizza box which is something that you are showing mm -hmm. as uh, among the among your samples is a matter of uh, adjusting a little bit the, the quality mode the, the, the print mode it depends what the customer wants if you want to, if you want to print this kind of pizza boxes you don't require the highest quality so this pizza boxes you can run at, at 800 ppi for instance uh, with a, with a, with, a, with, a, with, a, with a, this is already good quality quality is good enough for this yeah. kind of application but of course if you want to go for this more luxury uh, applications then it's better to print high quality uh, nearby offset quality this is printed as for 1200 dpi for instance and then high quality is quality and color gamut are extended actually compared to this but both qualities with for the for the, for the applications are are, uh, are good enough. Okay, Rita, these days uh, uh, you hosted uh, several uh, prospects, a uh, relatively large number of uh, uh, packaging uh, uh, converters. Uh, who is the ideal customer for Speedset? The ideal customers are actually the 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 the, 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 the folding carton con folding carton converters. Who wants to go? Uh, who has already some offset machines but wants to go for the low runs as, as well. At the moment, currently we see an evolution in low runs, so the, the runs below 1000 sheets for instance, they are more and more ex exceeding, uh, more and more becoming important. Um, the jobs are uh, becoming more personalized, customized, or do, the, the, the customers are doing some promotional campaign or seasonal variations and then they want to go for, uh, for lower runs and then this machine is actually ideal to, to be additional to the offset machine that the government person already has in-house. And how will you address the market uh, in, the, in the coming months? Yeah, so we, we actually, we run, we run, next year, we will do two beta, two beta machines, one in the US, one in the UK. So that is our first step into the industry. And then later on, we go for the early adopters. Um, which we will help and uh, um, where we will introduce the machine for the first time then. Okay, w when do you expect it to announce the first uh, beta testers, the first uh, early adopters? The, the first beta test will be around summer, uh, the first beta installation will be around summertime next year and the second one will be by the end of 2024 actually. Okay, Rita, thank you. Okay, thank you very thank much. You.